What's up guys, we're back with another insane video. Today I'm opening all of the 2005 Yu-Gi-Oh! tins for 60,000 subs. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. All six tins, one video. We did this with 2002, we did this with 2003. Now it's time for 2005. If you have 2004, hit me up. But these are the tins we'll be opening. We'll be opening the Panther Warrior, the Vorse Raider, Xerion Universe, Guilford the Lightning, the one and only Dark Magician Girl, the most expensive tin of the lot. And finally, the Rocket Warrior. All six in this video. Sit back, relax, grab your popcorn. Here we go. But before we get started with this video, we're doing a special giveaway for 60,000. I'm giving away this Ultimate Rare Arm Dragon Level 10 from OTS 15. A very new Ultimate Rare, but quite expensive, about $45. So you guys have a chance to win this one. All you have to do like this video be subscribed let me know your favorite tin from this video that's it let's get into it let's start off with the first tin the guilt for the lightning tin let's see you can see how old these are this used to be a sticker right there they're nice and dirty let's see if we can get a nice promo out of these so let's get our cutting device out here okay let's open this up first tin from the 2005 tins hopefully we can get something epic the packs in here are a little bit weird. There's like Dark Beginning, uh, Dark Revelation, I think. There's some GX packs, so there's some some strange ones, but it's going to be fun. First, we have the promo, Guilford the Lightning. Let's check that out before we check out all these promos. First promo looks to be... Oh, wow. That's pretty good. Check that out, guys. Secret Rare looks pretty good. I'm not seeing too much wrong with this one. Maybe like a little something there, but that's pretty good. Near Mint. Near Mint promo, guys. We got a Near Mint promo. And it was the right promo. It wasn't like the Blue Eyes, but you can see it in the front, so obviously. But that's pretty awesome. We have five packs. We have Dark Manning 1, Dark Revelation 1, Soul of the Duelist, Rise of Destiny, and Flaming Eternity. These are all unlimited, I believe. Yes, um, these only come in unlimited. So that's pretty cool. Let's just go ahead and open them one at a time. So let's start off with the Flaming Eternity pack. This is going to be a longer video, so make sure you guys sit back and relax. It's going to be fun. Hopefully we get something cool. Maybe an awesome ultimate rare. I think you can only get rare ulties from these. Not totally sure, but even if you can, there's some good ones in these sets. Flame Ruler. Whirlwind Prodigy. We're not looking for huge money back. We're not going to make our money back on this one. We're just looking for something cool. Armed Samurai Benkai. And a Feather of the Phoenix to start it off. We're not going to start over 21 or whatever like we did in the 2003 10 opening. You can go ahead and check that one out. The first time we ever did this, it was pretty crazy, but... There is a super rare. That's a good start. We have a space mambo, hexfield fusion, and a firebird. Next pack. Rise of Destiny. Can we pull the Koichi ultimate rare? I just bought one actually. Finally, I've I've been meaning to get one for forever. A lot of you guys have tagged me in some, and I finally did eventually buy one. Maybe we can pull an unlimited ultimate rare. I'd still take it. Creeping Doom Manta. Thank you guys again for sixty thousand. That's pretty amazing. Harpy Lady Two. Tactical Espionage Expert. Element Magician, and a Fuseler Dragon, the Dual Mode Beast, okay, just a Fuseler Dragon, Foxfire, Ballista of Rampart Smashing, next pack we have Soul of the Duelist, can we pull a Horus level 4 Ultimate Rare, that'd be pretty cool, that would be pretty cool, I would be a big fan, here we go, Hade Hane, not the Hane Hane, the Hade Hane, the Tribute version, <laughs> crazy, Mind Crush, Nobleman Eater Bug, Ninjutsu, Art of Decoy. Hammer Shot, just a rare. Okay, just a rare. Horse of Servant and Malice, Doll of Demise. All right, we're down to the uh, the reprint. These are the first reprint sets. This is the first one, Dark Beginning 1, so we're going to save it for the end. It does have a Blue Eyes potential in it. DR1 can get uh, Exodian Necros, I think. It's kind of... I don't. There's not too much great stuff in this set, but it can get Exodian Necros, which would be pretty cool. You guys have seen the double Necros pull if you haven't. Go ahead and check it out up in the eye. Here we go. Tip card. An easier Mirage Knight. We're not going to read that right now. Gravekeeper Spy. That's a good one. Great Angus. These are much different texture than the other ones. Very slick. A Man with Widget. Gyaku Gyre Panda. Koitsu. What is this? Okay. That's weird. <laughs> Des Koala. Just a rare. Okay. Dice Reroll. Curse of Aging. Which I'm a trio. Sinri Eye. Incandescent Ordeal. And Metal Silver Armor. You can see they split them up. Monster Trap. Uh, magic. It's really, really weird. <laughs> okay, next pack, the f or the last pack of the first 10. 
We could pull blue eyes. We could pull red eyes. Summon skull. Dark magician. All these are in here. There are alternate arts in here, like the tablet art. A lot of people don't like that art, but I think it's pretty cool. Here we go. Setting normal spell cards. Armored zombie. The classic. Very armored. Very protected. Flame manipulator. Grand Tiki Elder. Oh my. We were that close. We were that close to the legend. Cure Mermaid. Oh, a Dark Sage Ultra Rare. That's one of the best ones. Dark Sage Ultra Rare. That is a great pull. That is so cool. This car card originally came in the Dawn of Destiny promos. Super cool card. Check that card out. Big fan. That is a huge hit. Good start. Two, two foils in that tin. Near mint promo. I'm already loving this opening. Already loving it. I'm just and I'm just saying. In the 2002 10s and the 2003 10s, we pulled blue eyes both times. We could pull it out of dark beginning one. We could pull blue eyes. So I I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Alright, the next 10 we're opening. Vorse Raider. Here we go. Can we match that last 10? That would be insane because the last 10 was super good. Two foils and a near mint promo. If we get all near mint promos, I'm going to cry because that's just amazing. By the way, uh, the guy I got this from, his name is Kid Collectibles on Instagram. He said he's trying to hit a thousand, a thousand followers. So if you guys check out his Instagram, give him a follow. He hooked me up with these. So there you go. Let's get this. This is some tight wrapping though. All right. Promo. Force Raider. Here we go. Let's get a nice one. The Force Raider is... Okay, is it bent? It might be a little bit warped in a weird way, but other than that, super clean. So, so far, these promos are knocking it out of the park. I had two of these back in the day, the Force Raiders, because 1900 attack, so super awesome. I was a big, I was a big uh, beatdown guy, that's all I pretty much did. I didn't know how to play otherwise. I was like, trap cards, beatdown. Pretty much, I pretty much won every time in the, you know, in the schoolyard and stuff. All right, so fantastic start to this video. Absolutely fantastic start to the 60K video. Speaking of, if you're watching this and not subscribed, I mean, come on, guys. Come on. Just do it. Just so. We're already at 60K. Why not just be at 60K and one other subscriber? <laughs> okay, let's continue on. Insect Knight. This is a 1900, 1500. I had this one in my deck as well. Majigaru Panda. Abare Urishioni. Big Tusk Mammoth. I've pulled this in Ultimate Rare before. I think we pulled that in every pack opening, actually. Hand of Nephthys, DD Dynamite, and the Golem Century. First pack, dud. Rise of Destiny, Dukoichi, please. I've been asking you for so long. Can you show up in the or in the 60k, I almost said 20k video. 60k video. Here we go. Back to square one. Lighten the load. Harpy Lady 2. Let's do this. Let's pull an Ultimate Rare. Creeping Dune Manta, and Big Core. Okay, it's not an Ultimate Rare, but it is a Super Rare, so we will take that. That is a Foil. That's a Foil card, and that's what we're looking for. Super Rare Big Core. So far, these tins have not disappointed. Okay, we got uh, Harpy Lady 3 and 1, and Bakoichi. What a troll. Not the Koichi, the Bakoichi. Next pack, Soul of the Duelist. Ultimate Rare Horus. Ultra Rare Horus. Anything Horus. Is what we want. You can even well, you can get a rare horse level four. I guess we don't really really want that, but it's not a bad rare. All right, red eyes be chick. Let's do this. Like button for luck, guys. Hit the like button right now. Taunt. Unshaven angler. I remember using this card, and uh, when I would duel myself. Yeah, I, I know. Sandwich. Check it out. Sanganon, which is the black forest. Make that sandwich. Here we go. We called it. I said anything Horus, and we got a Horus level six super rare. Wow, not the ultimate rare, but we will take that super rare. What a card, guys. Look at that head. That head is very small. <laughs> it looks it's just tiny. Look at it. That's pretty awesome. We will take that. Horus level 6. What an amazing opening so far. We've got two super rares in this 10. Heavy slump, dude. you got to chill out. It's coming out your nose, coming out your eyes. Bro, that's not good. That is not good. All right, two more packs. Dark Revelation 1. Don't even know what we want from here besides Exodia Necros. Hopefully something will shock us and just appear. Tip card number 17. The Oppressed People with 2,000 defense. Man, you gotta be careful. Those Oppressed People are they're pretty strong. Pandemonium Watch Bear. Amazonus Paladin. Nice. Cure you. Great Phantom Thief. Tribe! That's actually a very good rare. That's expensive. I think it's like 4 or $5 at least. 
Checkmate, my body is a shield. Okay. Very good rare. We will take that. That's a very, very good rare. This card has not been printed much. It's been printed in MFC, DR1, and I think a common and a starter deck, and that's like it. Final pack of tin number two, guys. We still have four more tins after this, so make sure you hang around. Watch the whole video, because hopefully the pulls will continue like this. Hopefully the promos will continue to be minty. Thank you guys for being here for 60k. It's an awesome celebration. Here we go. Right arm of the Forbidden One. That's awesome. We got we to gotta put those aside. Hang, hang. Gradius. Maybe we'll get the whole Exodia. Can we get the Exodia head? Come on. Kazujin. Nice. That's a nice common. Red Archery Girl. Swordsman of Landstar naturally had to appear. Axe of Despair. Okay. Yeah, see, in DB1, they didn't do the whole, like, trap magic thing or whatever. We will take that uh, that Forbidden One piece, though. They, they didn't pop up as much as they do in Dark Legends. Dark Legends, they literally were like, Exodia is everywhere. You will get every single Exodia piece. It's crazy. There are just tons of them. So there we go. Nice DB1 pack. Two foils in that tin. That's pretty good. Near Mint promo. We'll take that. Tin number three, we have the Panther Warrior. Joey Wheel is going to be opening this one up. Okay, no, I'm not talking like that the whole time. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. I know you guys. I know. Some of you guys wanted me to. Some of you guys were about to turn off the video. I I'm not going to do it. I'm not gonna okay, maybe a couple times. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> we'll see how Joey, how much we need Joey. We need his luck. Because, I mean, if you ever needed luck, Joey's the guy. If, if they opened trading cards in the actual, in the actual game, Joey's your man. He would have pulled some absolutely fire stuff. All right, Panther Warrior. All right, finally got that off. We have a... Oh my goodness, these promos are incredible. Near Mint, at least, Panther Warrior. These promos look fantastic. So far, we are killing it. Okay. Let's get our packs out. All right, so far, so good on the pulls, on the promos. Let's keep it going. We still have... 20 more packs to open in this video. Yeah. Six tins. Every tin from 2005. Yeah. This is insane. This is awesome. I love doing this. Hopefully we can do 2004 at some point. In 2006. So that's Cyber Dragons. A lot of cool stuff. Refusion. Rescue Cat. Great pull. This is a very nice common. Set that aside. Good Goblin Housekeeping. Ooh! Ultimate Rare Shadow Slayer. I pulled this one before out of a 2005 tin. That's awesome. Ultimate Rare. Let's check it out. Condition on these cards is so good. This might actually be a PSA 10. Wow, check that card out. Shadow Slayer Ultimate Rare. Really cool card. I mean, just look at it. it looks very sweet. Not to mention we got uh, the best common in the set in the same pack. So, yeah, this is a good 10. Wow, that's great. So we now have an Ultra Rare. We have an Ultimate Rare. We have two Super Rares. We've got some good commons. This is going very well. Okay. Rise of Destiny. These promos have all been near mint. I mean, it's like I'm dreaming. This is like I'm dreaming, guys. The only way this dream could get better, Dekoichi and Blue Eyes. Those two cards right there. Here we go. Element Magician. Harpy's Hunting Ground. Mind Haxorks. Harpy Girl. You guys love this one. Oh, this is the uncensored one because you uh, you see that? The, normally, there's spandex all the way up on that. And the Necklace of Command Meme. Yeah. Pitchfork Warwolf and Moki Moki King. So uh, this, I think this Harpy Girl is actually worth a little bit. So we're going to sleeve this one up. Very nice. Three more packs in this tin. Soul of the Duelist. We pulled an Ultimate Rare already. Let's pull another one. Horus. Dark Mimic Level 1 is not a bad card either. Dark Mimic Level 1. Mind Crush! Mind Wipe. Okay. Red Eyes Beat Chick. That's a super cool card. And... Hammer shot. Just a rare. Okay, ultimate baseball kid. So if you want to play some baseball, there you go. Neo Akumdor and Mass Mass Dragon, not Beast. Uh, I actually really like Soul of the Duelist. I like a lot of those cards. Dark Revelation 1. Here we go. Let us pull from the Revelation of the Dark. Lots of cards in this pack. Apprentice Magician. Cool card. Cobra Jar. Dark Scorpion. Manet the Thorn. Kelbeck. Guardian Trice, Acrobat Monkey, Butterfly Dragger, Elma. Okay, the banned card. <laughs> is it still banned? I think it still is, right? All right, the final pack of our third tin, the halfway point after this one. Oh, wow, that, that is some squeak. I do not like that squeak. <laughs> okay, final one for the third tin. We are almost halfway through. Tip card number 17. Is that the second time we've pulled that? You Robbie. Right leg of the Forbidden One, nice. Four-star Ladybug of Doom. 
The Reaper of the Cards. Send you with a thousand hands. Giant Rat. Okay, fairy box and pay for that. And Tune World. Cool. So we did get another Exodia piece. Nothing crazy. We already pulled the Dark Sage from that, so uh, DB1's already doing pretty good. So we're not complaining. All right, three more tens. Exerion Universe. This is the controversial GOAT card. Is this card legal in GOAT? Is it not? Let me know your opinions down below if you made it to whatever minute mark we are. It's 18 minutes right now, but it's probably going to be edited down quite a bit because there's a lot of opening, a lot of pausing, stuff like that. But uh, let me know if you made it to this point and what you think about Exerion if you know about that dilemma. Okay, there we go. The issue is basically Xerion was released in a weird point. It's like whether or not it was okay. I think it was after that ban list they usually play. So it's mostly not allowed, I think. Okay, Xerion Universe. Let's check the promo. Really cool card. 1800, 1900. Just super strong four star. Beautiful condition. You got to love the condition of these. This is great. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Now, DMG. Please, DMG. That'll be the one that's scuffed. I mean, I'm just going to go ahead and jinx myself now. Five packs here from the Xerion 10. Here we go. Play me Eternity. All right. FET, pull us some fire, pull us some ultis. Maju Gyre Panda, Abare, Ushenoni, Ushioni, Beastle Swamp. Spell Absorption, Threatening Roar, Poison Fangs, and Divine Dragon Ragnarok. Such a random 1500 normal. Rise of Destiny. So far, Rise has not given us... Has it given us a foil yet? I don't think so. Rise is like one of the only ones. Maybe Dark Revelation. So we know that FET's done pretty good for us. Soul of Duelist has given us something. DB1's given us something. So all those for sure. Spell Fear Purification. M Mighty God. Mirage Dragon. Harvey Sending Ground. Ooh, Ultimate Rare 18 Trap Disposal Unit. I, always get, I feel like I always get this one. I don't ever get the decoy cheap, but we get this one. This guy's pretty cheap, but definitely a really nice looking card. I mean, just those goober smacks over there. Um, just <laughs> moving stuff around. It's like, is that like Soitsu and all of them? It's pretty funny. Yeah. So that's a nice pull. Pitch Dark, Warwolf, Fire, Foxfire, Invasion of Chaos. So two, um, Invasion of Chaos. Two ultimate rears out of, what have we opened? 18, 17 packs? It's really good. Really good. If we pull another one, that's crazy. Next pack, the Soul of the Duelist. A lot of cool potential cards in here. We have the fusion weapon. The skull dog Marin. A sad dog. A lost dog that wandered off 1,000 years ago. Still waiting for his master to come for him. <laughs> that, that'll tug at your heartstrings. Arm dragon, level 3. There's arm dragon, so if you'd like the newest set. Cemetery bomb. Arm dragon, level 5. Okay, we got two arm dragons. Horus the servant, that's nice. Let's just pretend like that didn't happen, because I'm getting a little creeped out right now. Dark Revelation 1. Let's pull something cool. I don't think we've pulled a foil out of Dark Revelation 1 either, have we? Have we? So that's got to change. That's got to change right here. we got a tip card number 45. The Magical Plan, Magic Gold, Mandrew Gold, Karma, The Shop, The Death, Feral. Okay. Helping Robo for combat. Master Kionchi. Gravekeeper's Guard. Nice common. Another Elma. He's going to pull Elma every time. Kaiser Coliseum. That used to be a good card. I just remember that because old school expert um, would always pull it out when he was opening. This was like ages ago. So I don't think it's good anymore. I'm talking like 2012. <laughs> very old. Very old videos. All right. DB1. Blue Eyes White Dragon. <sighs> like button for luck, guys. For 60k, the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Let's do this. Blast Juggler. Sword Hunter. Skull Servant. Nice. Hitatsumi Giant. It's definitely darker than normal. Harpy's Brother. Not Sky Scout. And here we go. Is this it? No. Two Mermaid. Alright, we still got a chance. Blue eyes, blue eyes, blue eyes. Char of Greed. What a troll. Minor Goblin Fish. That's a short print in Pharaoh's Servant. Toll. Oh, gosh. If you guys have seen the duels with Gezi, check that out. That's a great playlist. I know. Ignore the background noise. Yeah, it was bad, but... Yeah, the background music, or not music, the background noise in that was terrible, and it got like 60,000 views, and I was like, great, now everyone's going to think that I have background noise in all my videos. Okay, next one, we have Rocket Warrior. This is number five, guys. So we, we pulled an ultimate in that, right? That was it. Near Mint Promo Ultimate Rare. That's a considered a successful 10, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, I don't want to jinx it, but these 10s have been pretty good. So uh, to anti-jinx, hit the like button. 
And subscribe if you're not. <laughs> if you subscribe, that means anti-jinx. All right, rocket, rocket war. You don't end the streak here. Don't end the streak. Come on, do not end the streak, please. I can't get this off. There we go. Rocket Warrior. Beautiful card. Beautiful card so far. Back looks fantastic. Oh my gosh. The pressure's all on DMG. If there's any way to even get close to making my money back, it's DMG grading a PSA 10. So that even having a chance is muy bueno. Very good. Five packs. We still have 10 packs left in this opening. I hope you guys have had it. I hope your popcorn's been delicious, buttery, salty. Unless you don't like butter and salt, then I hope it was bland, boring. Just the way you like it. I hope it's been good. But let's try and pull something crazy here, guys. Beast Soul Swamp. Element Valkyrie. Refusion. Rescue Cat. That's great. And if... Oh, a Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. Guys, this is a card I did not own at all. Because all the printings for this is like stuff I never open. And that's actually a great card for Goat. So that's actually really good. I, I had like no copies of it. I actually bought some from TCG player because I didn't, but now we have a minty one and a rescue cat. That's great. Yeah, ultimate rare Phoenix Wing Wind Blast would be the dream now. Now that I remember that that's in there, if we pull that, I'm gonna cry. Cry in a good way, by the way. Three more, four more packs. Four more packs in here. We got Rise of Destiny. Come on, Dukochi. I believe in you, you choo-choo train. Come on. Come out for the birthday party of 60,000 so Okay, not a birthday, but you know. Zing's... Oh, gosh. Bad memories, and you know what? Somebody hated this card just like I did back in the day. <laughs> All right, by back in the day, I mean Duel Links two years ago. Okay, Rock from the Valley of Haze. Nightmare Penguin. Homunculus, the Alchemic Beast. Ooh, guy, I saw... I thought that was an ulti for a second. Harpy Lady one. We have pulled that as an ulti before, and Fruits of Kazaki Studies. I think that was against Team Sam when we pulled that as an ulti, so you guys can check that video out. I've probably linked way too many videos now. You think you can only do five? <laughs> five for like four hours, so if we make this like an eight-hour video, we can link a few more. But yeah, we'll link a few of them. Ooh, already a good start. We've got to level up. That's a great foil. Or not a foil. That's a great card. Now, can we pull an Ultimate Rare Horus level four? Let's do this. Or Arm Dragon level 5. That'd be all. We have pulled that against Yu-Gi-Oh! in 2019. I won't link that one. No one eater bug because it was cringe, but you guys can go find it. What in the world did I do with my finger? You guys see this? Pack opening is dangerous. That's all I can tell you. Cemetery Bomb. Arm Dragon level 3. That's a sign. This is an ultimate rear. Arm Dragon level 5, baby. Oh, it's so close. This Arm Dragon is a regular level Arm Dragon level 5. Okay, all right. That was close. That was almost awesome. Two more packs. Dark Revelation. Still no idea what we want from here besides Necros because it hasn't given us anything. I think you can pull Shinado maybe. That would be yes, you can because that's my where my bit one's from. It's from DR1. Okay, that's what we want. Number thirty-three. We got a Cyber Raider. Wing Sage Falcos. Nightmare Horse. You don't see this card very often. It's Infernal Guardian. Pretty interesting art. Pretty cool. Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu. Great Keeper's Curse. I just love these names. Paladin of White Dragon, we got a super. This is a very cool card. The art on this is very cool. The head of the, of the Blue Eyes Paladin guy, very weird. Very weird. It kind of looks like a peanut. Let me just check it out. Peanut Dragon. The Paladin of Peanut Dragon. So, <laughs> pretty cool. Pretty nice super rare pull. We'll take that. We finally broke the streak. Pulled something decent out of there. Dragged down the grave. Shinado's arc grew that close. One more pack from this tin. Blue Eyes White Dragon, we're summoning you. Blue Eyes, Red Eyes, Dark Magician, Summon Skull. All of these are options in this pack. We already pulled Dark Sage, so we could pull a second one. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind. Tip card number 23, like LeBron James. Hit Tatsumi Giant, Harpy's brother. Dude Mermaid, here we go. Blue Eyes, White Dragon. Genzo number 7. Griggle. Shining Abyss. Magic drain the enthusiasm out of me right now. That's ridiculous. Oh, infinite cards. We'll take that. That's a good that's a good common. <sighs> and it's come to this. The final. The final tin. Dark Magician Girl. I'm gonna break open this like $500 tin, or maybe even more at this point. I don't know. Very expensive, but we're cutting it open. Promo, please. Do not be the one that ruins this streak. Dark Magician Girl. I believe in you. I believe in you. So far, wait. What did we pull on that one? Did we pulled one foil or two? Wait, I'm gonna have to look. All right, yeah, just one foil on that one, but we did pull one. Okay, oh no. Oh, okay, I don't think it damaged the card yet. 
Look at that, of course, on the Dark Magician Girl one. Please. 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 Did it damage the corner? Okay, front looks good. Did it damage that corner? Back looks good. It might have barely touched it, but I think it's fine. Wow, it's actually near mint. Wow, wow, talk about insane tins. Beautiful promos. Are you kidding me, guys? We went six for six on near mint promos. That's like, that's like impossible. <laughs> that's almost impossible if you guys have watched me open tins. But that's what happens when you put plastic there and don't put it on the, on the freaking back. Okay. Five more packs. We've had incredible pulls, I'd say. Very good. Can we get another ultimate rare? Can we get a blue eyes? The goal here, Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. Make it happen, guys. Okay, we infuse the energy. Here we go. <laughs> infuse the energy. Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. Ultimate rare. Here we go. This is my this is my call. Phoenix Wing Wind Blast Ultimate Rare. Decoichi Ultimate Rare. Horus Level 4 Ultimate Rare. Exodian Necros. And blue eyes. That's what we're pulling in this tin. The most insane ending of all time. Here we go. The light hex sailed fusion. Hyena. It's like a uh, Lion King. Abare Ushioni. Elemental burst. Here we go. Let's start off hot. King Dragoon. Okay. Dragoon. Dragon. Dragoon. This is a very nice card. Used in goat. The ultimate rare is very expensive. So that's a very good super to pull. While it is not the Ultra Rare Phoenix Wing Wind Boss, we will take that though. That is amazing. Good start to the final 10. Hope you guys are enjoying this video, guys. This has been incredible. Really awesome, actually. Rise of Destiny. Ultimate Rare. Here we go. Dekoichi. We can still get that call right. I've been calling it for weeks. I've been calling it for years. Whew. Rock from the Valley of Haze definitely got nicked up. He got beat up. He got in a fight. Harpy Girl. Another one. We'll take that. Mind Hacksocks. Harvey's Hunting Ground. Here we go, baby. Believe in the heart of the cards. Dun, 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 dun. Divine Wrath. Super rare. Beautiful. Two for two on this opening. Or ten. But, uh, yeah, just supers. Just supers. Nothing too crazy. But we'll take that. We also got the Harpy Girl. Three more packs. Soul of the Duelist. Believe in the heart of the packs. I have the Soul of the Duelist. Because I duel every single second of every single day. That's how we roll as a duelist. You're not a duelist if you don't duel every second of every day. Skull Dog Marin. Unshaven Angler. Taunt. Here we go. Horus. Sandwich. And. Okay. Innervating Mist. All right, Dark Revelation 1. Let's go. Let's get to where it really matters. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <sighs> Last time we pulled a foil, we pulled a super rare. It's time for the Ultra, the highest rarity in the set. We've got a little butt. Guardian Bow. Luster Dragon. Neo Main King. Actually, a, a side go card. We'll take that. DD Trainer. Magical Merchant. Another go card. Dramatic Rescue. Are you kidding me right now? Shooting Star Bow Seal. Are you kidding me right now? All right. Final pack of Destiny, the Dark Beginning One. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Please. Please show yourself. I believe in you. I believe in the heart of the cards. The tip card at number 33 Larry Bird, Electric Snake. I told you I believe in the heart of the cards. Pacano Moth. The most powerful card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. Humanoid Slime. Here we go, baby. Let's do this. Last pack magic. Hero Shadow Scout. Koji Cozy. No! Are you kidding me? We finished with the greatest card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, but that's it. That's all 30 packs, all six tins. That was an absolutely awesome opening, guys. Let's go over what we got in the opening. First of all, most importantly from this from this opening, we pulled six near mint promos. Every promo from 2005 is near mint. Probably going to grade all of these. Hopefully, we'll get some nines and tens. That'd be awesome, especially the Dark Magician Girl. That's a very expensive card. And then from our pulls, we got a 
ton of nice cards. We got a bunch of commons. We got a couple Exodia pieces, two Rescue Cats, two Harper Girls Uncensored, the Infinite Cards, Patin, Pat the Patin Glow Moth, <laughs> Neo Main King, Magical Merchant. Then for rares, we got a Phoenix Wing Limb Bass, nice card, not too expensive. Tribe Infecting Virus, good value, nice card. Then for supers, we got Horus, awesome, big core, Feather of the Phoenix, Paladin of White Dragon, that's cool. Divine Wrath, King Dragon, one Ultra Rare, Dark Sage from DB1, that's one of the best cards in the set, so that's really awesome. And then two Ultra Rare, Shadow Slayer, A Team Trap Disposal Unit. Overall, absolutely incredible. Way better than I expected from these tins. The packs aren't that great, there isn't that many crazy pulls. So we actually got really good pulls for that. And then we got amazing tins. So that was really awesome. I'm really happy with it. Hope you guys enjoyed this long video at 60,000. Make sure you subscribe if you have not already. I appreciate all you guys that do that. Check out my TCG Player and eBay affiliate links below or become a member if you want to support me. I appreciate all you guys that do that. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh! Do this. Well, you? Oh. Elemental Hero. Dark Bright! Boom! Oh, <laughs>